Good morning. Um, I welcome you to this presentation, my capstone um, project for the final BSN. My name is Ola Aloba, and I thank you for joining me this morning. And I want to welcome uh, my colleagues, um, Shirley, uh, Terrell, and um, Sylvia for joining me and listening to this presentation. And uh, first of all, I want to thank you. Thank you for being present here. Oh, the, this presentation is about the our, our patients with catheter. It's uh, mainly to reduce the infection rates of our catheter patients. These are uh, our dialysis patients with catheter. And uh, we know that in this clinic, once they come in and every other dialysis clinic for the uh, end-stage renal uh, um, disease patients, once they come in, they come in with a catheter first before they are placed on a permanent um, access. So the purpose of this study is to reduce the rate of infection of these catheters. And why we have infections on these catheters is because of the placement and um, the, 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 the fact that it mustn't be wet when the patients have this uh, catheter on. The purpose of this study is to educate us in how to care for these patients with catheters and how to really make sure that we reduce their hospitalization rates. In this presentation, we'll, I will teach, we will learn the risk involved in um, catheter and how to better prevent infection and how to get proper documentations for policies and procedures to help these patients when they are in their cardiac care prior to getting a permanent access. What is the rationale for this project? The rationale for this project, like I have mentioned, is to help our patients reduce hospitalization rates of our catheter patients with end-stage renal disease. And we know that what are catheters? Catheters are, are, are the parts that this patient use to link them to the machine to be able to dialyze them because their kidneys are not functioning right. And these catheters are temporary until they can get a placement and it's a tunnel catheter that leads straight to their heart and has a hole, you know, to uh, lead straight to the heart so that we'll be able to dialyze them. And they get these catheters because they are new to dialysis or because their permanent access is not what's working right until they can uh, be fixed. Every patient, it has been discovered that every patient that comes in with a catheter, two weeks after placement, they have an infection. First, because we haven't taught them right on this care of catheters, and two, we, we uh, healthcare workers don't take the necessary precaution to make sure that we reduce the infection rates of these patients. CDC statistics has provided, has, has shown us that 50% of our patients within two months of having these catheters would have been in the hospital two times. And this increases the cost, increase, decreases their care, decreases, it doesn't make for better outcomes for our patients. And so we need to reduce these hospitalizations and infection rates on our catheter patients. And how do we know that we, they have infection? Like every other infection, we, the, the signs are there. Chills, fever, and once we discover that these infections are there, we need to take proper uh, 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 measures to uh, get them to hospital and get them treated quickly. Um, time, time, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Time either in taking care of them with the infection or making sure that the catheter is removed quickly because the CDC also had discovered that if there's a timely removal, if the patient transitions from catheter to a permanent cut quickly and within a short period of time, they have a 35% chance of 
a better outcome because carditis has been discovered that it increases their mortality rates because of the constant infections and the closeness of the cardita to the heart of the patient. So it increases mortality rate, it decreases their outcomes and the use of antibiotics. They are constantly being given antibiotics to help with the um, infection and that lowers their immunity. So we want to make sure that our patients are properly taken care of when they have cavities. And what is the evidence for change? In the, in the year 20, 2009, the CDC conducted a three-month research with a control and a, 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 an intervention of our patients. And it was discovered that the use of Chlora uh, exodine to care for our patients with carditis, we along with good um, hand washing technique and um, staff education, uh, uh, patient education, the patient knowing what should be done with their carditis, not taking a shower, not ma making sure that the access is not wet, and when they see the signs of infection, to report immediately to the doctor and get. Uh, proper care and it has been discovered that there's a 40 percent reduction in the rate of infection and uh, we have better outcomes for our patients according to a canadian journal it was, it was uh, for kidney bacterial infection i'm quoting them verbatim bacterial infection in this setting are mostly commonly due to gram positive uh, 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 staphylococcus with methylene resistance uh, staphylococcus carrying a poorer prognosis. So we need, this is a very, very important thing with our patients with carditis and proper and adequate and quick intervention is of utmost importance, not just for the nurse, but the whole healthcare worker along with the patient being taught proper education to care for the cavita when they are home. Most importantly, not taking a shower, not going to swim, not um, opening it up and let air come into it so that way they don't have an infection and washing their hands properly, often as, uh, uh, to, before they touch their, um, their carditas. And also it has been discovered both in our clinics and all uh, uh, clinics are around us that the shorter the time the patients have keep on their cardita, the better their prognosis. What do I mean by that? I mean, uh, what that means is that carditas are for patients that come into dialysis new. It's either they are new patients to dialysis or their permanent access for one reason or the other is not functioning right. So to make sure that we reduce the rate of infection and their constant hospitalizations, permanent access should be put in at the same time when their carditas are put, put in. That means that because the permanent access takes about four to six weeks to mature. So between the four to six weeks, we have only four to six weeks to use that catheter. And so along with good care, and proper education of both staff and the patient, we can reduce the time they keep the carita, not about three, four months, you know, going back to put it permanent. Because the permanent takes about four to six weeks to mature. So by the time the permanent access matures, it's time to take out the carita. And so the patient is not, is not going in and out of the hospital. So time 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 is of the essence to make sure that our patients don't keep carditas on for a long time and when the patients come into the clinic and they have a cardita we need to make an appointment right away within the week that they are in the clinic new to dialysis to make a, an appointment with the vascular doctor to get a permanent access and if the patient is on permanent access but it's not working right and they need a cardita. We need to make sure that once the cardita is put in, we are, you know, proactive, making sure that the, 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 the uh, vascular doctor is ready to put in the access as quickly as possible. All this will reduce the hospitalization and infection rate of our dear patients. 
what are what, what recommendations do I have? My recommendations are that education, 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 education of both the nurse, the healthcare worker, and the patient in the care of the caregiver. Both are very important. The patient must know what to be done to take care of that catheter. And if at home, both at home and while in the clinic, to, to when once the healthcare worker is taking care of he, him or her, to say, no, I need you to wash your hands. I need you to do this. I need you to change your gloves. I need you to put the gloves on. Once the patient knows what is expected, they know how to correct the healthcare worker, even when they are not doing right. And then the healthcare worker being taught the policies and procedures of proper care of our patients with catheter, hand washing, using gloves, uh, mask, you know, not coughing in the patient's uh, area, um, giving the patient mask to cover when they are uh, um, when they are being put on the machine or taken off of the machine. Like I said, proper hand washing, um, a face mask for both patient and staff, uh, uh, proper uh, hand care with gloves for our patients, putting them on and taking them off the machine. Also, what are my expected outcomes? My expected outcomes for our clinic with our patients is to reduce, mainly to reduce the infection rate, to bring that infection to one or zero a month, not them going back and forth to the hospital, reducing hospitalization, making sure our patients have better outcomes, they are better dialyzed, they are better in their quality of life, they are better in, 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 in the quality of the dialysis they get on the machine, which is very, very, very important. Decreasing the cost of hospitalization, decreasing the cost of hospitalization, and increasing our revenue. Because once we decrease cost, revenue will go. But most importantly, getting our patients well and having better outcomes in their dialysis. In conclusion, research has shown that we decrease infection of our patients by 40% which is good, which is good news because our patients get to live a better quality of life, they get to live longer, they have better outcomes and decreases their hospitalizations, decreases cost for the patients, decreases uh, 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 the mortality rate, which is very, very important, decreasing the mortality rate of our patients and increasing their quality of life. Amen. I thank you so much for listening to me. I thank you for sitting with me and uh, listening to how we can better make the lives of our patients, uh, 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 be, you know, their quality of life better and them having better dialysis and better uh, uh, outcomes in their care. Thank you and I appreciate you listening to me.